welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki Philippi, to those of you that don't know me and haven't seen my face before, and today we are doing my show called Nikki's Nibbles. <laughs> to those of you that don't know, Nikki's Nibbles is like a food cooking show that I do here once a week on my channel, and I show recipes, hauls of things I bought from the grocery store, just food that I love, and today I'm going to be showing you a breakfast not a sandwich, like a breakfast toast that I've been eating lately, lately that I love, that is super duper simple. So we're gonna hop right in before we do. Stop! Guess where I took that from. And click this button right here to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already or if you're interested in subscribing. So Nikki's Nibbles and Tea Talk and the other shows that I do can show up in your inbox. Um, plus I do giveaways that are only like open to people that are subscribed to my channel, which is a random fun side fact. So let's hop right in to today's video. Oh, and don't forget to use the hashtag Nikki Snibbles on social media if you recreate any of the food or buy anything that I show here on Nikki Snibbles. So not to be confused with Nikki Snibbles. Ho oh, ho, let's do it. All right guys, so here are all of the ingredients that I used to make this egg toast. I used some organic jumbo grade A eggs, my Kerrygold butter, some black lava sea salt that I got off Amazon, I'll link down below, this unexpected cheddar cheese from Trader Joe's, and sourdough toast from Trader Joe's. So I started off by toasting my sourdough, and then I, well that's toasting, I'm heating up some olive oil in a pan, and then I'm taking my jumbo egg, and I'm cracking it into the oil, and you can see that it spreads out everywhere, and it starts to cook but I'm taking my little wood spatula and I'm kind of pushing the edges in so that I can make sure that the egg stays small enough to fit on my toast. So I keep kind of forming it in and then I take my pepper and I put a lot of pepper on and some black lava sea salt and I sprinkled that on top as well and then I flipped my egg. I like my egg runny but not like too runny so I let it cook for a minute and then I'm doing a second egg as well same thing spreads out starts to cook push it in all that jazz and my sourdough toast popped up so I used my Kerrygold butter on my sourdough toast Kerrygold butter is supposed to be like one of the best butters for you and once my eggs were cooked I put the egg on top of the toast which honestly this is just good by itself but what takes it over the top is I shred some of the unexpected cheddar cheese from Trader Joe's which you guys know is my favorite cheese of all time and I started my oven to 450 degrees and then while that was heating up I took a hatch chili but you can take any pepper or chili obviously just to give it some kick um, but I'm still going through my hatch chili peppers because um, they won't be back till next year and then I sprinkle my chili pepper on top of the toast add a little bit more olive oil a little bit more black lava sea salt and then I popped my egg toast into the oven just to melt the cheese and heat it up a little bit more and then I took it out of the oven those are my flowers that were sitting on my table next to my food and I consumed my breakfast guys this stuff is so good and it's so easy to make and it's been like a staple breakfast for me lately so I hope you enjoy it <laughs> All right guys, so that is it. I will see you back here tomorrow with another video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and use the hashtag Nikki's Nibbles on social media if you want. All of those things are only if you want. I will see you later, alligators. Bye.